Guys, today we're setting up the green Red Cat Gen 8 V2. We're going to put lights, we're going to put an interior, and we're also going to put new rims and tires on this Red Cat Gen 8 V2. So, first step, what we're going to do, we're going to deal with the body first, and we're going to put on the lights and the interior, and then we're going to move on to the wheels and tires. All right, let's get busy. So, I have two sets of green lights. I have green ones in this package with green lens on it, and I have green ones in this package with a white lens. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the both sets of lights, and I'm going to test it to see which one I prefer, which one is shining more bright or what kind of, you know, lights that they give off to see which one is better. And I'm going to go with the one that I feel comfortable with. So first off, we're going to open up this one. So these are your green lights here. And now we're going to open up this package here and see what these lights look like and which one light up the best. Which one would I use to put on the green Gen 8 V2? So they're both five millimeter. So let me get a battery and test it and show you how it goes. So guys, I have the two lights plugged in and I want to show you the difference. This one is just wide all the way around and this one have a spot. See this? This one is spotting. This one is just a flood light. Basically, it is bright all over. So I'm thinking I'm going to try both of them and see inside of the lens and see which one I like. And flood light means that it gives you a wide area of light without a spot it goes all over. This one is a spot. You can see you have a, a center, you know, like a real car light. This one is just flooded all over. So the white lens is basically flood light and the one with the spot is the green lens. And I noticed the wire on the white lens is a little bit thinner than the spotlights with the green lens. This first light here is your flood light. It is very bright. It lights up all in front of you. So that is a flood. And this one right here, that's your spotlight. It gives the lights straight ahead of you. If you notice in front of the truck, very little light. I think I'm going with this one because it really light up and show off the green in the truck. Guys, I'm about to solder up some connection for the wire. So I put in the shrink wrap already and I'm gonna just twist the wire. So this lights, the positive is actually the black wire. So we have this wire here would have a white coating. So this white coating, we always put it on red and the black going black. But in this instance, you know, the difference is over here, we have the white coating on the black because of the positive with these lights is actually on the black wire. So you just got to understand how to hook it up. So what you do, you test it first before you do any soldering. So now I'm going to go and do some solder and put these wires together. So now we're going to pull the shrink wrap over so we can cover the wire to protect the solder so the wires don't touch when you get live power in it. And now we're just going to take the, the back of the iron and just hit the shrink wrap. All right, that's it. So the connection is on and we're going to do the other side. Now we're going to connect up the lights and make sure that it works. We're going to push it in this plug right here and we're going to connect the battery. There goes the lights. So it's working perfect. All four is lighting. All right, so now we can hook him up on the body. So I'm going to remove the light buckets. All right guys, so now we're gonna put on the lights now. So we gotta get some little screws in here. Now we have to get some light holders out. Alright, so now we can put the lights inside. Now you got to remember how the lights come out so you can properly put it back in inside, you know. So the lights is actually facing this way. So then if you put it that way, it's going wrong. So this way you can see the R. See that R right there? It's that way. So the bottom one always gives you that little bend, you know. Make sure that it stays properly and you gotta get that wire through that opening here just like that and you put a screw in there it's not too difficult to deal with at all but you gotta have some patience with it because you know everything is the screws is so fine okay i think we did it so now i'm gonna go ahead and run some time lapse <music> Let's test the lights and see if it's working before we put it up on the body. All right, so four lights is working. Now we can put up the light buckets on the body.
So guys, the light buckets are up with the lights. So now we're gonna move on. Now we're gonna put in the back lights. So we're gonna remove the grill and put in the lights. So here guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap all the black wires together and all the red one together. This is for the back tail light. So I'm just gonna put all the black together and then I'm gonna twist all the red together. And now I'm going to take the red and put on the wire with the white coating. So by twisting them together makes it very easy to solder. So now that we pull the shrink wrap over the solder, we can just melt the shrink wrap with the iron. That's it guys. For added protection, we put in an extra piece of shrink wrap over the two pieces of solder to hold it stronger. Okay, that's it guys. For best results, always clean the iron. Guys, we're only going to put in two lights because we're not using any control box. So just two lights we're going to use. We're not going to put any in the reverse section. Alright, so the first light is in. Now we're going to do the other one. So we'll leave in the middle empty because that's the reverse light. All right, guys, so we complete one of the lights. We're gonna test it and make sure it works before we put it up. All right, so it's working, so we can move on. All right, so let's proceed to put in the lights and we only got two that we put in because we not put in any reverse lights. So pretty simple process here, two screws and that's it. Alright guys, let's give the light one more test before we put it up to make sure everything is working. Alright, all the lights is on. So now we can proceed to put up the lights on the body of the vehicle. Pretty simple to go back. Okay guys, so the back lights is back in place. So now what I got to do, connect this wire here to this one so I could only have this plug active. So one wire to go to plug it on. So I'm going to run this wire on the side and make this connection. So I got to put the interior light inside here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off all the wheel wells so then I could run the wire comfortable on the side because we put in the interior inside it too. So I'm just going to leave these wires so for now and remove all the wheel well so I can walk better in there. All right, so I'm gonna do some time lapse. Guys, so right here, I'm gonna put down this piece of carbon fiber. And what that carbon fiber is for is to keep the light from shining through the body. Just gonna place it right in the middle and the house light would come right here and that will stop the light from penetrating through the body. So we're gonna use a piece of double-sided tape to stick the light down. All right, so we're going to peel this piece of vacuum off and we're going to stick this light right there. So now, guys, I'm connecting the cab light onto the tail lights. So the black wire with the white marking, all of them going together. So I'm just going to twist this here and then I'm going to test it to make sure that it works before I solder it. All right, guys, so it's working. So we can move on to the next step. Now we can go ahead and solder the wires together. So now guys, we're going to connect all the lights together, the tail lights, the cab light and the headlamps. So I'm just going to run this wire between this shrink wrap and I'm going to twist it before I solder it. And what you want to do before you solder it, you want to test it first to make sure all the lights is working. All right, so let's put some power in the lights and see if they're working before we do final soldering and melting up the shrink wrap and all that. So all the lights is working, guys. Every single one is doing its thing. All right, so we're good to go. All right, so now we get everything soldered up. We can pull the shrink wrap over and put some heat on it. All right, guys, so we complete setting up the lights. Now we're going to move on to put on the interior. It comes with these stickers. So these stickers can be stick on the dashboard. So we're going to set it up and we're going to put it inside of the body. I'm going to cut it so you can fit properly.
So check this out guys, what I did here, I leave a little piece at the back, right here, so then I can fit it like so, right there. So all I'm gonna do right now is put some tape here and there, and that's gonna hold it. So I have this kind of electrical tape here, very strong. Just gonna take a piece and put it back here. Just like that, the interior is in place. Then I'm gonna put some up front here. And that's it for the interior guys, just like that. So look at that, it's really cool. Now in the back here, I'm going to have to drop it down a bit because I can see it going all the way up in the back windscreen. So I'm going to drop it down. When I take a look at it in the back here, to drop it back a bit and just use the tape, I'm going to have to just cut a piece off at the back. So I'm just going to cut a small piece off like this much. That looks like it. So the interior have to be sitting like right there. See that guys? So I'm going to try to get it in place. I'm going to shave off a piece at the back here again. Put the tape back here. Now you had to play with it a bit to get it right, you know? All right, I think I got it. Yep, perfect. So that's it for the interior. I finally get it where I want it to be. So now we can move on to the action figures and setting up the decals inside of the interior. So now I'm gonna remove the piece of plastic because I wanna put the decals on the dashboard. So there's a fine piece of plastic here. I'm going to remove that. So guys, what we have to do here, we have to cut the pieces off. So you have to trace it and cut it off. This is not already cut. So you got to do all the cutting for yourself. So this is how it goes. You got to fit every piece, you know. Guys, check on the interior. What do you think? Turn it alright. Alright, guys, so I have a couple action figures that I want to try to fit inside this interior. Becky Lynch and John Cena. So we may have to break them in half, but let's open it up and see how we turn out. So, so far, the action figure sitting pretty nice there, but the hands is not reaching the stairwell. It's not a big deal. Let's open John Cena and see what we can do with him. So I'm thinking I might just break him off by the knees because it's a little bit too long, definitely too long. So check this out guys, I break John in half and I put the girl on the other side. I think that, you know, look a little more better because his hands can reach the same well. So tell me what you guys think. So now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to fool that hole here with hot glue and then I'm going to screw it from the bottom and I'm gonna zip tie her. So this is what I'm doing guys. I'm just putting some hot glue at the bottom so when it dry I can take this screw and screw it in from the bottom and that will hold it. Just gonna open up a little hole here. Gonna take the screw and we're gonna screw it right in the middle so you can hold them together. So that's it guys. It worked. Simple like that. So I'm gonna put a zip tie to hold her down. Gonna poke a hole back here and then I'm gonna put another one right here. All right, I think that would hold her in place. So 
So that's it. She's pretty secure there. And now all we gotta do is cut the zip tie. And that's it guys. So everybody's sitting very comfortable there. So we're gonna put a shield in a hand and we're gonna put a little bit of hot glue to hold it in place. And that will do the job. So we have a couple scale stuff here. I'm just debating which to use. We got the cooler box. We got some sleeping bags, fire extinguisher. We got some Coca-Cola. And we have a crate with oil and all different bottles in here, coolant and stuff, you know. And we have a chainsaw. And over here we have a bucket. We also got a such light. So we got some cool scale stuff here. I'm just debating and I'm going to try different ones and see what match up. And then I'm going to set it up and you guys would see what it looks like. guys i think that's it for the interior tell me what you guys think you think i should have done more this is where i stopped with it i didn't want to overdo it so now it's time to put it inside of the, the body so i'm going to just be using tape to hold it down the reason for that i'm thinking i'm going to be using a lot of cameras inside of the interior so i can show off the interior pieces inside and take camera shots from inside so i want to be able to remove the interior and put the camera so i'm thinking i'm just you know i wouldn't screw it down so this tape is pretty strong so it's gonna hold it i don't expect it to fall out you know up the back a little bit more i'm going to adjust this all right so i think i get it where i want it to be so that's it for the interior now we have all the lights set up so i'm going to put on the lights put it on the truck and show you before we put up all the wheel well and stuff okay so all the lights is working the interior light is doing a great job of showing off the passengers in there and all the stuff at the back So now guys, it's time to put back the wheel well. And I'm gonna do some time lapse. Okay guys, well we complete the wheel well to put everything back together. We're going to move on now to deal with the bumpers. We're going to put green lights in the front on the bumpers and we're going to put red lights at the back. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and remove the back bumper and the front bumper. So now guys, what I'm doing here, I'm putting all the wires together for the lights for the bumper. So we have four lights up front for the bumper. So I'm putting the four lights together. I'm just connecting all the positive together and all the negative. And then we're going to solder the wires. So all the black is going together and all the green is going together. Pretty simple process. And now we're going to put a piece of shrink wrap before we start to do any twisting with this wire. And I'm going to twist the wires together now and we're ready to solder it. Okay, guys, so I'm setting up the lights for the back bumper. I'm just twisting the red together and twisting the black together also. And then we're going to put a piece of shrink wrap over the black one and we'll do the same thing with the red one. And now we're just going to take this piece of wire here the wire with the white coating going on the red and the one with the black 
it's going on the black. So now we're ready to solder. All right, so at this point, we have the front lights and the back lights all put together. So now we're just gonna hook it up on the bumpers and then we're gonna put the, the connection straight onto the battery lead because it's gonna stay on the chassis permanently. All right, let's get the lights inside the bumper. We get four short screws for the bumpers up front. So now I'm putting the light holder in first and then I'm putting the light down inside with the holder over it. Okay, that's it. Two lights is in. All right, so let's move on to the other two light holders first. And you push the light down with the holder. Okay, that's it. Let's do the other one. The light holder have a certain way that you gotta go. It's got a little cutout on one side. This is how you gotta put it. You gotta put that over the light. All right, so all four lights is inside the front bumper. So we can move on now to the back bumper and put in the two red lights. Now we put in the clip over again first. Get yourself a little screw. All right, that's one light. Let's move on to the other one. All right, so the bumper is completed with the lights. And we're ready to put them up on the vehicle. All right, so we're gonna put in the front bumper first. I'm gonna run the wire underneath here. So simple like that, guys. The bumper goes inside. Get your screw. So right here, we have to remove this piece of shrink wrap, these two pieces, and we're gonna unsolder the wire here, and we're gonna put these two wires there. So when the battery plugs into the motor, it's gonna get power with the bumper lights. All right, so now we're gonna take off this solder. Okay, so now we're gonna put some shrink wrap. So now we're going to put some solder on this wire here and then we're going to put some on that one and then we're going to join them together. Now I got to put this connector on for the lights, headlights, brake light and the hood light. So this is what will be connecting the body of the truck, all the lights. Alright, so I'm going to do some time lapse. So we finish up with the plugs and stuff. Let's put in the battery and put on the lights and see how it functions. We got lights in the bumper up front. We got lights in the bumper at the back. Let's put the body on and see how it looks. The interior light came on, headlights, tail lights. Looking really nice, guys. And now we're gonna change rims and tires we're gonna put on some aluminum rims and some high rock tires all right guys so we're about to hook up these tires with this dual stage foam and this aluminum beadlock wheels so let's get down inside the beadlock wheels and start assembling this stuff so we have a dual stage foam inside this one already we're going to remove this one here and we're going to put the dual stage foam in here. And to put this dual stage foam inside it, you have to kink it up like so. You have to bend it. It's really stiff. To get it in there, you have to really bend it, you know, just like that. So I always give a little headache to get inside it, guys. Because the foam is very tight. But when you kink it up like that, 
makes it a bit easier to get inside it just like that and you just have to double check you know to make sure the foam don't twist inside of it just check it all the way around both sides All right, that's it. So now we got two tires with the dual stage foam inside of it. We're going to unpack this one time and put the foams inside of them. This came from Proline. This is Hyrox tires. So we're going to remove the foam inside of the tires. We're not going to be using this foam because that's a single stage foam. Remember guys, fold it like so. All right, that's it. So now I'm going to do some time lapse and take care of the rest. guys time to put it up on the Gen 8 V2 so what do you guys think about the rims and the tires you guys let me know as you see it's been a walk to put together but it's really cool so I'm going for the green team with the green red cat Gen 8 V2 and can't wait to take it out to show you guys how it performs with these new tires and rims you know all right so let's get it on the truck right now now this little screws right here I just want to tell you guys what the screws is for this is for the hubcap so we have to remove every single hubcap if we want to take off the wheel and the hubcap hold on my six liquor screws and it come it come in the package with two screws holding it down we got to remove these two screws and let me remove it and show you because this is the only side we're going to go up on the truck we have to remove these things this is how we go so hub cap hub cap is aluminum all right so i'm going to do some time lapse and take out the rest of the hub caps <music> think so far guys it's cool wheels and tires now we're gonna take up this one look at that change up the whole rig all right let's get this nut in here now those little fine screws guys this is the headache right here and if you have to remove that wheel you have to take out every screw on that hub cap to get to that wheel but other than that i like the the style of it you know i like the look and i just thought you know the green genet b2 i should do something a little special with it you know what i'm saying i like the green the green is like my favorite color in the genets so i thought i'd give it something special so this is why i'm going the extra length with this one to put the wheels the new tires and the green lights so you guys will be seeing lots of videos coming up with the green Red Cat Gen 8 V2. All right, we got two wheels down. I'm going to show you the other side how it look. This is the stock. This is the aftermarket. All right, so we're going to do some time lapse and deal with these two here.
what do you think about it guys how it turned out and if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up please subscribe tell a friend and you know garage vibes appreciate you guys all the time i'll see you on the next one all right i'm out